So starting with eyebrows, I'm just taking a little bit of a brow pomade and working that through the brow and then blending everything through with a mascara wand. Then I'm going to carve out the brow taking a light concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution C13.5 and then just blend away those edges. Then for the eyeshadow base, I'm taking the P. Louise base in number five and patting that all over the lid in a generous layer. I'm also bringing it out a little bit further towards the edge of the eye because I'm going to wing the eyeshadow out and wing the liner out. Then I'm just patting over that with a foundation brush to make sure it's set. And then moving on to eyeshadow, I'm first taking this matte purple color from the Stacey Marie Be Perfect Carnival palette and just packing that on the outer corner in a rounded shape. Then I'm taking a clean brush and just working over those edges, making sure they're really nice and soft and blended. And then reapplying that same color so it's nice and pigmented. Moving on to the next color, I'm taking this bright purple and just working that around the edge of the first color that we put down. And again, taking a clean brush to soften the edges. Then going in with this bright pink, I'm working that around the edge of the last purple that we put down and again, blending with a clean brush. This technique, it takes a little bit longer, but I find you get a smoother blend and it looks a lot nicer. Now I'm just reapplying that dark purple so you have the full intensity. And I lost the clip, but I did actually put a little bit of black eyeshadow on the outer corner as well. Then going back in with the P. Louise base, I'm just popping that on the lid. I'm not really carving out or cutting the crease because I want it to be sort of a blended crease. So I'm just kind of popping it on there, not worrying too much about it being precise because we are gonna blend the edges. And I like to pat over the edge on the outside corner. Then I'm just taking that brush and softening the edges of the base so that when we go in with the pigment, it blends evenly and you don't have it sticking in any weird places. So I'm just taking that same black eyeshadow and blending that back into the base and then buffing over the edges again. So for the pigment, I'm taking Peach's Fantasy Pigment, which is really nice. It looks white in the pot, and then when you put it on, it has like a purple reflex to it. It's really, really nice, especially on a darker skin tone, because it really pops. And then what I'm gonna do is, again, blend the edges. So I'll be taking the same colors what I used in the crease and on the outer corner, and blending over that line. So you can see here, what I'm doing is wiggling it back and forth, so there's no harsh lines, and it's really soft. And then again, blending over the edges, just making everything perfect and making sure it's nice and seamless. Then for liner, I'm taking the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I sanitized it first by spraying it with alcohol. And then I'm just bringing that liner across the eye. And then what I'll do is wing it out and drag it back in on itself. You don't have to worry about this being neat on the bottom because we are going to clean it up with concealer and then take a little bit of makeup remover as well. So if you do make any mistakes, don't worry, it's very easy to fix. Then I like to set the liner with black eyeshadow just so it's really intense and black. And then now I'm taking a cotton bud with a little bit of makeup remover, just cleaning up any mistakes that I've made. And then I'm also gonna take a wipe and clean up any fallout. This is why I like to do eyes first because it's a lot easier and you make less mess. Now I'm taking that concealer and as you can see that's made the wing really pop and really stand out. This technique's a lot easier because if you do make any mistakes, you can easily fix it. So I'm just putting on mascara. I like to do this with my client's eyes closed so it doesn't make them jump and they don't flinch. And then for lashes, I'm gonna be going in with Tati Lashes in T09, which are really nice fluffy mink ones. This is what they look like on. They're just enough and they don't cover all the eyeshadow. So now I'm going in with the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. What I like to do is put it all over the face and then work in small sections. I'm using this on a Peaches makeup brush. I can't remember the number, but I'll link all of the colors and the names of the brushes down below if you're curious as to what I'm using. And then what I'm gonna do is make sure to blend that down the neck. This foundation is a really good match for Crystal, but I do like to always bring it down the neck because people's neck is never really the same color as their face and you don't want it to look like their foundation doesn't match their body. Now what I'm gonna be doing is going in with a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I'm taking two shades, C18 to contour and C13.5 to highlight under the eye. I put this color down first and then what I like to do is blend away the edges. In a minute, I do actually go in with a little bit of a lighter concealer, but this is a good one to kind of conceal and then the other one I'm gonna use is for more of like a highlight shade. So I'm just making sure that it's really softly blended around the edges, there's no lines and it's really seamless. And then what I'm gonna do is take that foundation brush and pat over the top. Also highlighting down at the center of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, making sure everything is really bright in that whole area. You wanna highlight the center of the face as well as underneath the eye, just so everything's nice and balanced. 
Here what I'm doing is taking a tiny bit of a lighter concealer and a clean brush so it doesn't get cakey or clogged up. I want it to be a tiny, tiny bit brighter, so I think I use a little bit of C10. Now I'm going in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Please excuse my hands, they are covered in makeup. And I'm just setting underneath the eye. This is more so to set the concealer and then I am gonna go in with another powder in a minute to help brighten, but this just helps the concealer stop from creasing. Now moving on to Cream Contour, I'm taking that C18 Makeup Revolution Concealer and working that underneath the cheekbones and I'm also going to do it around the forehead and under the jawline. I like to work with a cream contour and then set it with a powder because I think it looks a lot nicer and it lasts a lot longer. So now I'm taking that Makeup Revolution Terracotta Powder and I'm dusting that underneath the eyes. As you can see, this tone works a lot better on crystal skin because it really brightens and it has that nice warm undertone which really suits her. I'm also baking underneath the contour and leaving that there for a minute and then setting down the center of the face as well. Be careful with this powder because you'll see in a second the powder really, really stuck when I baked. So maybe don't put as much as I did because I did have a hard time trying to blend it away. As you can see here, it literally did not budge, but it was fine. I just kind of worked it back into the skin with that same brush and softened everything. I forgot to include a clip again, I'm sorry, but this is MAC Phil Noir Blush. This is the powder contour that I'm using. It's a really nice dark purple tone brown, which works well on a deeper skin tone. And this is what I'm using as my powder contour. So I'm just going over those areas that I already used the cream contour on. And then for blush, I'm going to be taking the MAC Azalea Blush, which is a really nice bright fuchsia color. I think it works really well with the colors on the eyes and matches quite nicely. Then for highlighter, I'm going to be taking the Inglot Sparkling Dust in number three and popping that on the tops of the cheeks. I do actually use a different color in a minute, but I just laid this one down first as a base. Then I'm going to spray the skin with the Hydrate Spray from Primark. I love to use a hydrating spray just to make sure that all the powder products melt into the skin and nothing looks too heavy. Moving on to underneath the eye, I'm first taking this Inglot Gel Liner and popping that on the inside of the eye and a little bit underneath. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat fluffy shader brush. This is one from Zoeva. I'll link the name down below. And I don't have any, any eyeshadow on my brush. I'm just working that gel liner underneath the eye, making sure it's really buffed in and all the edges are nice and smooth. What I do is I use this brush first, then I go in with a slightly larger round brush and really, really soften those edges. You want to take your time with this. This technique works really well because it means that the colors don't lose their intensity when you take flash photos, but make sure you blend that liner really well first because once you put eyeshadow on top, it will not budge. So now I'm just taking the same colors from the top of the eye, putting those underneath, and then highlighting the inner corner with that Inglot Sparkling Dust. Now I'm just dusting away any fallout. And then going in with the second highlighter, I'm taking this on the tops of the cheeks, on the tip of the nose, and above the brow. I really like this highlighter. It's actually a bronzer from Makeup Revolution, but it's really, really good. Now I'm just adding mascara to the bottom lashes. And then what I'll be doing is taking a little bit of makeup remover and just removing that dark foundation from the lighter areas. When we do crystal skin, we like to do full coverage foundation all over, and then we just take makeup remover to the lighter areas just to remove that darker foundation. Moving on to lips, I'm taking MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil and just outlining the edges of the lips. What I'm going to do is go in with this dark brown lip liner and then a lighter nude. I did actually forget to include a clip, so this is the liquid lipstick we put on. It was the Anastasia Ashton Liquid Lipstick. And then for gloss, I'm going to be taking Peach's Toffee Gloss, which is one of my all-time favorites. They're really, really full coverage and have a really nice smell to them as well. They smell like sweets. And then I'm just blending that in with the liner. And I also like to go back in at the end and top up the brows just because I do foundation after doing the eyebrows. Sometimes you lose the edge of the brow. So I like to top those up and make sure that they're perfect. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.